14th of December. Welcome back to my Vlogmas. Are you getting fed up of me yet? <laughs> um, so what's been going on today? It is Wednesday. Um, and yeah, we just had a nice little day in the shop. It is freezing, though really, really cold. Um, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday that I couldn't feel my toes. Well, today it is the turn of my hands. My hands have been freezing because um, the only part left to be cold. I took matters into my own hands today and I've put on a thermal base layer, I've put jeans on, I've put my nice snow boots on, not very glamorous, woolly jumper, but my hands were freezing so I had to pop out earlier and um, I got a hot water bottle so I could just hold that while I was sat working on the computer and that's just sort of eased them a little bit because I'm getting quite a bit of pain in this finger and I think it might be a little bit of arthritis. <laughs> so yeah, that makes me feel good. 37. Don't feel ready for that. So, um, today I've had another delivery and I won't show you everything in that one because um, it's mostly restocks of things that we've had before um, and they'll all be going on the website again soon. So you don't want to see every single little thing. Um, so that's good just to start getting a little bit more stocked up before the Christmas holidays so that we're not coming back in January with no stock. Um, I've also got a lovely big box here from Tilly and the Buttons and it's come with a lovely little Christmas card inside that says Merry Stitchmas and it says to Jenny thank you for all your support this year have a great holiday season from Team Tilly and the Buttons so that's nice. Um, so yeah, I've got a big restock of Tilly patterns and they're all live on the website now. Um, but yeah, they come packed like this, so really neatly packed in these like paper wrappers. Um, um, I've got a couple of the new designs, um, not like new patterns, but she's been re-releasing old designs with an extended size range which is fab and the pattern covers are gorgeous so I've got the iris in the new size um, <laughs> it's got fun opening these um, oh that's Marnie back in stock um, what have we got here not to spend this entire video just unwrapping things. Uh, the Jamie pajamas. That's just in the same six to twenty-four. That's the same size range as before. Um, what else have we got? Oh, some more lotters. Lotter hasn't been extended yet, um, and I hope they don't do that immediately so I can get rid of these before. It seems like Tilly's sort of working through the catalogue, if you will. Um, what else have we got here? Um, oh, Erin back in stock. Love the Erin pattern. There's literally not many of Tilly's patterns that I haven't made now. Um, so this is a revamped one. This is Stevie. That's now in a wider size range. Stevie is fantastic for beginners. It's probably number one on my recommendations list for a first garment because there's no closures on it. So that's even better that it's more size inclusive now. Paper everywhere. What else have we got? Oh, Indigo is back. I can't believe she's not extended indigo yet. I bet that's the next one to go. But yes, probably one of my all-time favourite TNT tried and tested patterns. Finally, the one I was waiting for is the newly extended Cleo pinafore dress. And you can see that's got Jill from the Sewing Bee on the cover as well, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, I love Cleo. I think I've made Cleo two or three times now but I'd like to make it again I'd like to make a longer Cleo um maybe just in a nice denim I've made it in cord in the other two times so maybe a nice long Cleo might be on the list for next year so um last night I went home and measured Juliet 
<laughs> she's so cute putting a tape measure around her is just adorable um so i had a look i'm just getting my pattern out now at the measurements for her for this i am rainbow and look at these instructions they're very detailed um and i think based on her measurements i'm gonna make the size six so i think that's technically the age six she's not seven until march so that kind of feels logical but she is she's very like petite at the moment she's quite slender she's got skinny little legs plus <laughs> there's nothing to her she eats plenty but she's just not a big chunky kid so so yeah i'm gonna make her that one and i've printed the pattern um and for myself this is the thing when you try a new pattern company you then have to sort of delve into the realms of new sizing now i think i'm going to go with the size 42 it's a bust of 37 a waist of 29 and 1 8 and a hip of 39 and 3 8 that's probably about right for my bust size waist and hip is probably a little bit small but looking at finished measurements doesn't even have a hip because it's just straight down from the bust which is 44 and 1 8 so that will cover my hips fine I'm happy just to get that bust size right so I'm gonna go with the 42 um I don't think we need to go crazy on twirls and overfitting for a sweatshirt so I'm gonna cut out these paper pattern pieces now um and then I'm going to call back in hopefully this evening with a little bit more footage. Julia has asked if um, she can help me open the countdown calendar and I haven't opened it for a few days actually I must admit I've just been so busy I've completely forgotten about it so I've got some label surprises to catch up on um, and she enjoyed doing it last time so I've said to her that she can do it again. So um, I will check in with you later but yes on to get these cut out and then hopefully I'd say tomorrow now we'll be looking at cutting out the actual fabric um but today as well is the first day of this round of postal strikes and it feels like now we'll be pushing it to get anything else out and delivered before christmas so that's kind of sad and i was looking at i was looking at dpd today they're not even doing dot to dot pickups and drop offs you have to take things to their pick up and drop off shops now so i think even the courier services are starting to struggle so it's not great but i think everyone knows why and appreciates that so fingers crossed we'll just see the next couple of weeks out okay without too much drama right i'll catch you later